And now, the piece de resistance. Okay, so I'm not good for French. We will go inside and we will look at a horse's butt and a pig's butt. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are, this of course is Corvus Wyosti. And we are done. Last episode, I started building it. I have completed it, ladies and gentlemen. The most basic, everyday, average animal pen a human being can make. It took me, look at the clock, six hours to gather everything and to build this home. And now, the piece de resistance. Okay, so I'm not good for French. We will go inside and we will look at a horse's butt and a pig's butt. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> this is the first floor. This is where I keep all the land animals. And our Jerboa now has a name, because I had to rename him. His name is Tim. It's an inside joke. Some people will get that. And if you come through here, aha, shoulder pet land, where people can come and hang out with shoulder pets, like these guys. Then, if you go around, and you go up these stairs, and then you go around, and you go, we don't have a vest plus, so stairs or ramps, so stairs. Go up these stairs, you get to the roof. Ta-da! The roof. Welcome to the roof. Whee! Ooh, this almost didn't work. Now what I did was, I went ahead... And I made it underwater, the whole thing like this. So it's all basically ceiling on top of foundation. On top of uh, columns, actually. The foundations are the first two levels here. Now, I was going to put ramps on here, but I really didn't see the point. So basically, that is the coolness. And all the ones that I usually use, which is mainly just him, um, he's facing outward so I can get him out when I need to get him out. Because he can collect berries, he can collect fiber, he can collect wood, thatch, he can collect a lot of stuff. He can't collect stone, but he can collect the rest. Come here, Tim. Get over there, Tim. Stay there, Tim. Thank you. And of course, there's Slitha. Pick her up. So that is the place. Now, what I decided to do was leave him outside because it's just, um, I don't think that they can bury themselves in imaginary floors, i.e., the roofs. So I left him outside. Now, right here, I put a big glass window so when people come up, they can look inside and go, ooh, pretty. And then, of course, I also put rows of glass around it all the way around the outside. All the way around there. All the way around over there. And then I boxed this in so you actually couldn't see what was going on. See, you can't see inside there at all. And not only that, I also roofed in all this so you couldn't see that either. Now, I've thought about taking these out, but I'm afraid if I take them out, it'll collapse the entire wall. And we don't want to do that. Now, you might be asking yourself, but Corey, how did you do this? Well, I'll explain. Okay, so I put the uh, first set right here, the um, sloped wall on the other side, not this side. I put it down on top of the wall. Then I put a sloped roof on top of that. Then I meticulously took 
and put this sloped wall on this side and then I had to sit there and get it just right to where these walls on this side were linked up to that sloped wall and I did that all the way around and then dropped them down and they went right into here because as you can see right there they're different walls now if you're wondering how to make a roof a sloped roof into a ramp like this it's very simple you just take these sloped walls here like that one and that one and actually you know what here I'll just do you one better we'll go outside I really should put a door in here so I can just walk out easily with a small door I'll probably put it like right here and make it like a window but uh here I'll show you this real quick I'll just make this real fast so you can see how it's done uh, we'll make a sloped roof which is here somewhere there it is and then we'll take a foundation I should have some foundation left over yeah I got one left over okay so here's your foundation right okay so say this is your floor okay and there's not a lot of people that know how to do this believe it or not on consoles because we don't have S plus so what you do is you take your floor like this you attach one of these wherever you're going okay so say for example the ramp is supposed to go this way okay so what you want to do is you want to take your first one and stick it there like that then you take your other side the opposite end so if that's left you want to do right and vice versa put it in like that then you take your sloped roof and you attach it like so and what do you get that's right you get a ramp and you can literally do that all the way up now if you do another level you would want to stick a wall right here because that wall here I'll show you real quick I got a wall I can make real fast what you'll do is you'll take a wall and you'll stick it right there I can't really do it because I don't have a foundation of any kind underneath but basically you would stick a wall there then stick the next sloped walls on top of that and then you would add another sloped roof and you would get that it's magic not really and what we used to do long time ago is when you got up to here you would actually make a roof so I'll show you what I'm talking about real quick so let's go in here and we'll go down no back up back up some more make one of those one of those one of these okay and then we'll go down grab this and set it right about there oops nope wrong side we'll have to remake that one okay so let's take the other side and set it not wanting to place right so we'll just hit the Y button BAM place just fine that time not didn't it sometimes they're not gonna be perfect in fact I think I actually can do that better oops wrong button well we can destroy that later okay so if we go into here we can grab this now let's see if I'm over here that will lock that that way so if I hit Y sometimes you can do it sometimes you can't okay so now that we have that we go down grab the sloped roof attach it there because sometimes when you get these really tall buildings like this 
you end up somehow getting rain inside, and I don't know how it happens. It's just a weird glitch that happens. Now, all you have to do is put up some thatched walls or wood, whatever you want to use. In this case, we're going to use thatch because we've already started with thatch. So we're going to grab the thatched wall and we're going to stick it right like hither. Flip it. Nope, that was the right way. Okay. Stick it like that. See how it's sticking out like that? You want to try to not do that. I'm not sure why it did it, but it did it. And then we go down. And we stick this one here. Flip it. Like that. And then you can take a flat roof. Since we're doing thatch, we're going to just keep doing thatch. Scroll down to the bottom. Grab it. Put it right there. And there you have a roof. You can go in and out, no problem. And honestly, if you wanted to, you could literally make a doorway. And you can stick the doorway on there. Put the doorway right there. Bam! And there you have it. A way in and out of the house. So now you have yourself a little covered roof. And it helps a little bit because that slows the glitch of the rain actually going into the super tall building. Go down. As you go down. Try not to go too fast. Like if you have super run speed, this may not be the building for you. Because you're going to fall. Okay, so we're going to go see if we have any materials left. So it looks like I will have to take, make a ramp. Is that the morning or night music? That's the night music. It's going nighttime. Just realized my microphone was on this whole time. So we got the ramp. So we go down here, grab the ramp, stick a ramp right there. Just because it, it helps it to look a little better. And what we can actually do to keep with the theme of that specific spot on the wall is if we have the materials go in here go to greenhouse make a doorway and a door find them when they pop up there's that one there's that one and yeah i know i have a bunch of random materials in my inventory um i pulled stuff out in order to make the behemoth gates because i had a lot of materials in there and so that helped Okay, so we'll go down here. Now, I'm not saying that that trick I showed you is guaranteed to stop the rain, but it helps to stop the rain. Especially when you have a tall, tall building like this. But sometimes it'll still rain in here. Like, certain spots won't rain, but other certain spots it will. So what we need to do is move these guys. So what we'll do is just turn them. And we'll park them right about hither. We'll park him there. Or her. Is that a him or a her? That's a female. And this one is a male. And the male has no saddle. So we'll go over here. Grab the saddle off this one. See, I'm just one person, so I don't need all these saddles on every single uh, animal that's the same. I can make one saddle and just rotate it between them if push comes to shove. But for these and for the T-Rexes, I've got two saddles. Now, I don't remember who gave me 
these eggs, but apparently the parents had a lot of movement speed because these things are like 300 movement speed, which is technically a lot of movement speed. Move them over a little because it's glitching. There we go. And we'll slide down the back like Fred Flintstone. And there you have it. Yeah, see right here? Where was it? Right there. For some reason, it's raining in the building. And I'm not sure why it's doing that. Uh, what I may do in the end is put up a... Um, here, I'll take you up top and show you real quick. See, it's raining all in this area. But now it's not. What I may end up doing is putting uh, a few levels of sloped roof at the top and then flattening it out and see if maybe that cuts off a lot of this rain and maybe cover more of the top with wood and get rid of some of the thatch so like have the outside is thatch and then all this inside be wooden roof that may actually help as well to detour this erg. Alright, so leave any more comments or questions that you have about how I built it and I'll be glad to answer. So yeah, now we have it all done and it's all pretty. We got our workshop over there. We got our fishing hut. The dock still needs to be fixed. Um, I'll probably do that tonight on live stream. So just to pre-warn you now, about, I'm going to say 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I'm probably going to do uh, a live stream. So, yeah. Be prepared for that on Mixer. Um, and what we'll probably do on Mixer tonight is we'll probably work on this right here. Um, yes, I know that it says that there's a max level dino, but I'm pretty sure it's probably one of these stupid fish. And I accidentally built something because I'm an idiot. I forgot that those were there, and I built something for no reason. So what I'll do is I'll go over here. Easy way to get rid of stuff you don't want. Put that down. Put that down there. <clears throat> destroy this and it takes it all out bada bing bada boom done okay let's scroll down here trash 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 though I should have kept that as the poop for the dung beetle but mm. so as you can see I've got a lot of stuff in here I need to get rid of eventually but I want to make some stuff so yeah we go in here and this is turned off right yeah okay. so I need to put all narcotics back in so we'll put the narcotics in they don't go because of all the crystals so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean up my inventory and I'll bring you guys back once I'm done cleaning up my inventory. Alright, so see y'all soon. Alright, so I came to Scorch Earth to get myself some cactus and I found this little lady right here. Thorny Dragon level 900. We're taking her home, people. We're taking her home. But first, we have to clean out the the thorny dragons and the RGs and everything that are not the 900 so that we have the ability to deal with just that one and that kind of hurt swoop in get him get him get him get him get him yeah do it again uh. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, it looks like we have one, two more thorny dragons and a saber tooth to get out of the way. So let's see which thorny dragon is the 900. It's 
not that one. So it must be one closer to. That one looks cool. Too bad he's not. One, uh, 900. Almost said too bad he's not a 100. <laughs> he is pretty much a 100. Okay, so. Let's get rid of this guy. Rid of this guy. Swoop back around. Get it? Swoop back around. Um, swoop at it. Okay, let's see. Um. Alright, it's that one. So I can take this one out. I believe this one can get killed. There we go. And I think that leaves just the 900 here. Who seems to be kind of angry. Alright. Let's get ourselves a thorny dragon piece. Come on, you can do it. Hold in there. Hold in there, girl. Keep its aggro. Ah. Uh, then keep its aggro. It's okay, I got it. It's down, it's down. Alright, we need some food. We need some meat. We don't have any good meat, so we're just gonna use this meat. Good meat is what I'm calling prime meat. Okay. So we gotta feed her. Come on. And yeah, obviously I came and got cactus. Uh, the cactus is going to be mixed uh, with sulfur because I'm making fire arrows, so I need that propellant stuff. Alright, now where is the nearest obelisk? Oh. <laughs> nearest obelisk is right over there. It's the blue one. So let's see. Can we just walk around? I wonder if we can just walk it around to the blue one from here. Because the blue one literally looks like the closest one. So we'll probably have to walk her through the desert. Which is okay. Oh. That one's getting too close. doing on your team? Okay, it's almost there. All you need is one more bite. Come on. Bite down. Bite down. Bite down and be my friend. Come on, I'm going to take you home. Aww. Okay, so one more bite. <laughs> Alright, let's go up in the air. Make sure nothing's around again. Centipede over there. By the way, I realized that I called it a caterpillar yet last episode. My bad. I also realized that I said that I had lost the wyvern egg. No. It was mixed in with a bunch of random junk in my inventory. But while we're waiting, let's see what else we need for that. Oh, never mind. Um, we're going to call her Marrow, and I put the name in the wrong place. Marrow, if you don't know is a girl from the X-Men comics who shoots thorny uh, who shoots thorny um, spikes of bones out of her arms. 
this is a thorny dragon, so it works. Let's walk that thorny dragon back the way it came. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to get her home, and I'll meet you guys back there at the base. Okay, well, apparently I forgot I wasn't recording, <laughs> but we got her here, uh, literally like five minutes ago, and found her. I didn't have the clay to make one, but I ended up having an ascended saddle, so Marrow is all set, saddled, and parked inside. So we can go ahead and shut the door. Alright. So. That was fun. I guess. It was just a quick little trip. Okay. Um, for anyone who's on the Ark's Mightiest Booster Cluster. The name of the three servers. There are prices. For certain pets. Uh, dino prices are light pets which are the little shoulder glow pets from Aberration, you can get those for 2,000 metal ingots. Um, the Griffins, Crabs, Basilisks, and Rock Drakes are all 5,000 metal ingots each. The Reaper Kings, you can get those for 15,000 black pearls. I still have to build a... Uh, Breeding pen now that I'm thinking about it too. All sales are on Sunday only. If it isn't on the list or if it's already tameable, do not ask for it. If you don't like the limitations, well, I'm not sure what they can do for you. Um, they want everyone to enjoy the service though. On Sundays, each tribe can buy a thousand element per map from the owner of that specific map. Terry on Scorched Earth, Calvin on the island, and Jessica on the center. In order to buy element, you must run and the boss run a boss run and pay with that specific trophy. The tribe leader must post everyone, every person in their tribe's gamer tag and in-game name in the group. If you do not have everyone listed, you cannot buy the element. Special event dinos will not be sold. Not on the list, meaning you can't ask for them. Alright, so we got that out the way. Oh, by the way, I put a um, feeding trough here. I might move it later once I extend the dock. Because remember, I'm going to extend the dock out for uh, parking spots for other dinos. And is that thing still down over here? was over here. Let's see if it's still there. A little earlier, we had a tiny little... Whoa. There, I forgot I have my own. I forgot about my own wall. <laughs> earlier, I had a really big visitor over on this side of the island. Let's see if that visitor's still there. Nope. Looks like he moved on. He, she, it, whatever it was. I added one of those giant raft-eating whales, the leech, whatever things. It was over here at my, uh, on this part of the island earlier. It had sort of got beached. It had hit one of those shallow spots, basically. Um. So, yeah, I'm going to get everybody settled in. Um, and I will talk to y'all as soon as I get back. So that was a productive day. We got a entire area set up, and there it is. Entire area set up. Dino pins done. Yay! And we got Maro here. Our max level thorny dragon. Yay! And... I let you guys know what the sales were. Remember, the sales are on Sundays if you're in these servers. And if you wanted to know about it, the Facebook group is in the description down below for the uh, server cluster. 
Xbox modded or Xbox boosted servers, sorry. And from me and all the dinos here inside and on top of the dino pen, we just like to say later days. Ooh, where's the uh where's the where's the wave? There it is, yeah. See you guys later. An arc survival evolved.